frame. Farmer Mimo! Farmer Mimo is first. She was first this morning. Lush for life is second. Oh. Mama Cat Mud Pie. Amanda's Gardens. Micro Rabbit Hutch. I know a lot of people are either still over in Maria's live stream. I don't know if she ended it or not. Hopefully she did out of respect. Um, altogether extraordinary. Stacy! Wow, Stacy hadn't seen you in a while. I missed you, Stacy. Anita. Recycle Cottage and Gardens. Good morning. Farm Alarm. Hello, Miss Donna. Miss Ro Rose. Mrs. Rose. That's John Ton. You always want to put an N in there. Uh, that's me. Mm -hmm. All this dirt. <laughs> Lone Wolf Go, and I'm live. Can I real quick go check in? Yes. No, find that essential oil. I'm signing off my radio. Negative, find that oil. Hey, Mary, yes. Mary, did you get my email? That email to you. Hey, D. How was your weekend? Did you Pickers. have a good weekend? Kiwi. <laughs> Tawana. <laughs> There's a troublemaker. Mama. <laughs> hey, Elizabeth. Oh. But a power of the homestead. Well, Venus here, that must mean um Maria. Is that is, is Party's all. here? Mm-hmm. What's up, Goose? Yeah. I watched your video today. Mm-hmm. I watched her video too. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Just saying. I was first. Well, just I, saying. I think I was first. I just didn't type in first. Mm-hmm. Susan Sullivan. You're not gonna holler, are you? I'm not telling you, cause, cause, I'm upset with you. Why are you upset with her? Cause she made you upset. She didn't make me upset. Mm-hmm. What's up, Professor? Made it to a class, yeah! Yes! Bass is here! Not talking to Kiwi either. Uh, she made me mad too. Why'd she make you mad? Well, I'll tell you later, but she hurt my feelings big time. Oh. Um. She's off. Mama cat. Mama cat. Let it snow. Let it snow. Ah. <laughs> uh, All right, I'm a Hicks. I'm gonna, um... So now you know twerking is no longer a skill I have. I, I was dying when you said that because I could just see you. <laughs> I could just see her in the middle of that kitchen just doing it all of a sudden like, oh, hell. <laughs> yeah, pick on me again in Mama's live stream and I got a whole bunch of jokes now. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? You gotta be talking to me. Because I'm the only Old one here. Old chicken tractor video. Uh-oh. Nope, that's not what I'm mad at her about. Oh, thunderstorm's heading that way again. Anita Rogers. Heather Russo. I think that's why I thought we knew that, that girl that uh, died right in the car, right? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Cliffy V, what's up? Mm. Oh, look who's finally back. 
Anya. Never saw the moth again, but the leaf was chewed off. Mm -mm. Dum, dum, dum. Aveline. Or is that Avon Lee? Avon Lynn? Avon Lynn? Avon, oh, Avon that, Lynn. I don't know. That, that might be. That, that was going to be my next guess. <laughs> what? No need to make sure I have a whole lot of popcorn for Mama always next live stream. If you two are going to go at it again. Oh, yeah. It's coming now. Mm, it is coming. Oh man, like a nuclear warhead. Charlotte! The tractor supply was. God, y'all. What? That was bad. Why was the tractor supply one so funny? Hey, suburban. Grandma on a roll. Tree. <laughs> Well, if you think about it, Cherish, I can still drop, pop, and log it into traction. <laughs> uh, hey, Dave! Uh-oh. Uh, days and nights screwed up again. Mm-hmm. Likely excuse. Mm. I'm a stealth watcher. <laughs> so... Yesterday, Mama had her son and, or my adopted brother and my adopted sister. Mm -hmm. And we got to thinking, so now there is a challenge that once the three of us get together to see how long it's going to take before she has to run to go pee <laughs> from laughing so hard. Hope says, I love fussing with Jason. Don't know how poor Donna feels about it. What's up, Southern Ark Homestead? How you doing, brother? Try to supply reminds me of taking hubby to Home Depot. Just saying, <laughs> go to get one thing. Never know what you're leaving with. <laughs> because you give Robin such a hard time about her tractor supply runs. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that was just one of those things that I was like, oh. She came and hit me. Well, see, this is how this is how my mind worked. Robin was like, "We got to get those um, broilers right there," and I'm like, "Why?" And she's like, "Well, the the um, cheapest I can get them, and that's if we buy a hundred, is a dollar sixty. So we're saving sixty cents a bird right there, minus plus we're gonna save the shipping. No shipping." Plus, no stress on the birds. Plus, there's no real stress on the birds. We're past the one-day thing, and they come with a 30-day guarantee. So this is how my mind went. My mind's went 60 cents a bird. Da, da, da. Times 30 is how many? Times 30. Plus, the shipping's usually about 20 bucks. Hey, look. More birds. There's Rhode Island Reds over there. They're a dollar a piece. No, all he saw was the dollar tree of tractor supply. That's what it was. And I was like, hmm, the cheapest I ever saw Rhode Island Reds was like, like three, three bucks. Yeah. Three bucks a piece. And so I went, hmm, I want them all. And Robin looked at me and I went, oh, look, honey, Australorps. I want them all. We probably, believe it or not, if buying as many birds as we did, the amount of savings that we did yesterday, we probably got paid to buy those birds. Well, considering that we bought two bags of crumbles and the crumbles were $15 a piece, it was basically 30 bucks that we spent just in the feed. So, we only spent $20 on 76 chickens that's ridiculous like you shouldn't be able to buy 76 birds for 20 dollars <laughs> it's just unheard of so and that's the kind of stuff that we look for like when we like the the 30 that i bought before was only like 16 bucks so 
You know, it's like it, those are the times when we, you know, that's how we build our yep our homestead. You know, yep. I mean, but. You got to get rolling. We have, after us tonight, weekend homestead is going on, and he's revealing what that hole is in his on his um, property. Okay, so, well, I, I'm going to tell you all right now, I'm a little disappointed. I had my bottle of oil for tonight, and this is the problem when you teach your children how to use oils. They don't put them away. <laughs> And I am sure that the last time that we cooked and we needed black pepper, that somebody used my black pepper oil and did not put it away. So, I don't have my oil with me. Which means, everybody that guessed right, I'm going to have to order more oil until I can find my other oil. So, it might be a little while before I can get you did guys. We guys. Did we look above the stove? I did. Okay. I looked everywhere. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if it got I think that bed. was that was Jesus's way of not having me taste black pepper. Well, I'm telling you, somebody was looking out for you because it was gonna spur, it was gonna burn your tongue off. So maybe that was what it was. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so I'm a little bummed because I was looking forward to seeing Jason. Going, <laughs> See, that's how it is, huh? No, oh, that's it. So anyway. Black pepper is the oil. I already busted that. But I had several people who answered it because apparently my clues were a little too hard to begin with. <laughs> mm. um, but just to give you all a heads up, I'm not expecting you to get the answer by noon. I'm really not. The, question, the, the clues are supposed to be abstract till about 2, 3 o'clock. Because I don't want anybody guessing it right off the rip at 10 o'clock in the morning. Because then that means I have to turn a lot of people away with samples. So, and I had way more guesses right than I did um, samples that I was going to give away. So, you know what? Y'all are just mean. What? Flat out mean. What? I'm sitting over here minding my own business. And they're accusing me of hiding the oil. I mean, he did know which oil it was, so it's very possible he could have. Just saying. <laughs> but I don't think so. I ain't, has, been out, I ain't been outside working all day. Nope, not me. He has way more stuff to do than hide an oil. But, but that's... Considering I didn't even know what the freaking oil was. Yes, you did, because I told you about it last week when you asked me on Friday so that Carol well, could I get remember. started. Well, you know, anyway... But the point, the, the point to all this that I want to point out to you people is well, we don't just, you know, play people on TV that <laughs> talk about oils. We actually use them, like, daily. And anybody in this chat that has seen, has, has hung out with us in person, the, the few people that are in here that have hung out with us in person know that we use them <laughs> daily. And that is the problem is sometimes. You know what? Anita gets a free sample, too. Anita won. She guessed it. Okay. Well, then Anita gets the free sample of next week's oil, too. No, I'll send her something else. You can forget me. I don't need any. <laughs> okay. So, let's start talking about this because we don't have a whole lot of time. Um, the clues. The very first clue was a picture of Alaric, the Visigoth. And I did put that in the clues. And that was... That's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to put abstract pictures, but then come around 2, 3 o'clock. If you don't know what those are, you're more than likely going to see those clues come back around um, the second time. So, um, just kind of keep up with that. Look at that. Hey, Palmetto. Happy Passover to you too, Palmetto. You know what? Mima and Hope. Y'all better not give me too much junk. I gave you both a channel shout out in the video that's coming out tomorrow. Okay, so as far as this oil goes, oh, I'm sorry. The second clue was a picture of Ramsey II. I'll tell you about him in just a minute. And then the third picture was a no smoking sign. So let's talk about this oil. Um, it can be used aromatically, topically, and you can ingest it. 
Um, the topically, you do want to dilute it. It's not a hot oil, but it can cause sensitivity. So skin sensitivity, so you want to be really careful with this one. You want to um, dilute it. Um, as far as contraindications and precautions go, like I said, it can cause skin irritation. Um, if you're pregnant, you definitely want to dilute it. It's not safe for children under six. Um, if you overuse this oil, it can cause sens uh, sensitization or overstimulate your kidneys. Um, and you don't want to use close to bedtime because it is a stimulant. It will keep you awake. It's good for like mental clarity and um, keeping you alert. So it's definitely not something that you um, want to use before bedtime. Also, obviously, just like with regular black pepper, you want to keep it away from your eyes because it will, I mean, it'll burn your eyes pretty bad. Um, <clears throat> okay, so it's steam distilled, just like pretty much all the other ones, minus the citrus. Um, it, and this I didn't know. Do you know how black pepper is grown? Mm -hmm. what, what's it grown from? It's grown from uh, peppercorn seed. Right, but but what kind of is it a tree? Is no, it a it's bush? like it's is like it a, a it's like a um, blackberries. It's a vine. Yeah, right. it's a vine. Right, so it's a vine. It can grow up to thirteen feet. feet tall. Mm hmm. Um, we can grow it here. No, we cannot. Not as effectively as you can in other areas. Um, it's a flowering vine. It's cultivated for its fruit. So when it's fully mature and ripe. Um, the peppercorns can get to five millimeters in diameter, so they're kind of small, or really small. Um, black pepper is cooked and dried unripe fruit. White pepper is the ripe fruit seeds, and then they, what they do is they take the, um, casing off of the peppercorn. Um, and then the green pepper is dried unripe peppers, peppercorn, and the thing is, is that they're called, like, I can't remember, dupes, maybe? Um, yeah, Amanda guessed it right, too. I have, like, six people who liked, who got pepper right. So, I'm still going to have to try and figure that one out. Because I did say I was only going to give away three. So, but we'll figure it out. I'm going to um, give away 12. Black pepper is actually native to southern India and other tropical regions. Right now, Vietnam is the largest producer and exporter of um black pepper they produce 34 <laughs> percent yes mama they they perf they produce 34 percent of the global um production of peppercorn and then india indonesia and brazil so all four of those comprise up most of the producers of peppercorn um, it requires really high temperatures, heavy and frequent rainfall, and well-drained soil. So unless you're going to do that in a greenhouse, it's going to be really hard to do here. It has to be very humid, wet constantly, and very hot. So if you're going to do it in a greenhouse, you definitely have to keep those kind of conditions. You would, you would do it in a greenhouse and... And, like, I bet you, even though he doesn't come to my live streams no more, um, Daniel from Go For Green could grow it in his aquaponics system inside his greenhouse. Mm, really? I bet he could. Well, probably, because it does get pretty hot. Like, yeah. And, that, and that's the thing. Like, if you... And that's very true. Mama, Mama's right. When we lived in Italy, black pepper was a black market item. Let me tell you, there is some serious history behind black pepper. <laughs> There are some great properties to this and some great uses for this oil. But let me tell you, the stuff I had the most fun with with this oil was the history. Did you really, do you even have a clue as to how much influence black pepper had in history over time? I know it was more valuable than silver at one time. Extremely. Like they actually used to use it um, as a commodity. And it was like, you know how when you say something is, um, like you, I'm trying to think of something that, like you refer to something and you say it's not, um, sugar sweet, it's like 
cotton candy sweet. Like, mm -hmm. you, you know how you use other things to describe something? Well, they used to use pepper as the reference for something being really expensive. It was black pepper expensive, like that kind of thing. Um, and so let's, let me talk about this. It's really cool. Um, there are references back as far as 2000 BC. Um, in 1200-ish BC, they actually stuffed black peppercorns into Ramses II's nose as part of his mummification burial process. Hmm. I thought that was pretty weird. So that was one of the clues that we had. Yes, Mimo. Yes, Mama Cat. I will look at your video and give you some pointers. Um, yes, the um, Slim and Sassy oil is definitely working for me. And I think that's it. Okay. So, <clears throat> pepper trade, um, the pepper trade route was quite an involved process when it first started. They sent out um, 120 ships annually to China, okay? And they used to go through Southeast Asia, then to India, and then back. Now, on their way back, they'd go up through the Red Sea, and they would carry cargo over land through the Nile River and then barge it back to Alexandria in the upper part of Egypt and then ship it from there to Italy and Rome. So it was the roundabout way to get there, but it was like the straightest line, but there was so much involved to do it. And they would do that once a year. So do you think this is where the term black market came from? No, but let me tell you something else that comes in. And it might be, but I don't know. I'm not even going to go there with that. But I will tell you, there's another reference that I thought was really cool. Um, so what ends up happening... Um, yeah, okay, so we were talking about the reference. Um, in the Dutch language, it was considered like if you had pep, uh, pepper expensive. That was what they used to talk about, like collateral, money, all of that. Um, okay, so Alaric the Visigoth, um, when the fall of Rome happened... He included 3,000 pounds of peppercorn as part of the ransom that he demanded for Rome when he took over the city in the 5th century. He was like, I'm holding Rome captive and I'm going to just hold on to it until you get me 3,000 pounds of peppercorn. Can you imagine how much peppercorn that is? That's insane, isn't it? <laughs> um, and wow. so, okay, so... Then basically what happened is after the fall of Rome, the trade started to, trade routes started to change, okay? And what happened is um, the Persians and the Arabs tried to take over the routes. And by the end of the early Middle Ages, the route in the middle of all of that was controlled by Islam, okay? Now then in the Mediterranean, the um, Italians started coming into play and they basically funded building the city-states of Venice and Genoa just from selling peppercorn. Okay? Hmm. So, but the thing was, and just like anything else, when something is so expensive, what happens? People start to try and find their way around it, right? That's right. Right. So what happened is the trade routes started to change and Vasco da Gama came in and um, they decided to try and go around the bottom of Africa. Instead of going through it, through the Nile and everything, they decided to go around Africa. And at first it wasn't really that great, but then they eventually, um, by 1494, there was actually a treaty where Spain gave Portugal the exclusive rights to half of um, the area where black pepper was from. Because Portugal had, I mean, Spain had control of a lot of that area. So, but what ended up happening is, again, Portugal lost control of it. And then all of a sudden there was this influx into Europe of black pepper. And then it became dispersed at that point. So... It was really like the whole nature of how trade originated and things happened all because 
of pepper I thought was really, really, really cool. Donna Norris, that you were exactly right. She said, isn't it amazing? A simple spice in our cupboard uh -huh. used to have so much mm -hmm. value. Isn't that crazy? And then, okay, so here's another cool thing. It was used by Indian monks for endurance on their travels. Okay? Mm. Miss and this, hold on, hold on, okay. hold on. Okay, okay. And this is where they get, because of endurance and giving you a little pick-me-up, this is where they say, put a little pep in your step. No, for real. Like, I know that is a little jokey-ish kind of thing, but really, that's where it comes from. Oh. Put a little pep in your step. Stacy, Stacy say, said, how do you avoid overdosing yourself on these oils? I use the basil to make <laughs> sausage, and it was very overpowering with just one chop. Yes. Okay, so, Stacy. There's a great, I ran across a great article, and I have to find it, and I'll post it, um, about the different measurements of the oils when you're using them for cooking, mm -hmm. and what you would do. Um, basically, with a lot of the Italian oils specifically, and black pepper is one of these as well, you want to invest in wooden toothpicks. Get you some cheap wooden toothpicks. Word. And when it's time to start cooking and using the essential oils, you literally just barely get that wooden toothpick on the edge of the bottle. And barely use any of it. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but if you take that little bit that's on the edge of that toothpick and stir it around, it'll flavor your entire pot. Mm -hmm. One drop is too much. It, it literally is too much. But then there are other things like lemon oil, lime oil, grapefruit oil. You could do three, four drops in a glass of tea and it's okay. So you just kind of have to play around with the different ones, you know, what they, and I will say, I have noticed with all of the Italian herbs, those typically are pretty strong. You have to be, especially oregano and basil are two that will definitely take over your meal you won't be able to taste anything but that oil so you have to be really careful with those um okay so enough about the history let's talk a little bit about the properties um this oil is definitely pretty cool it um deals a lot with the digestive system um it's a carminative meaning that it helps <laughs> um it helps with gas issues. That's what the carminative part means. Um, antispasmodic, um, anti-rheumatic, anti-arthritic, antibacterial, antioxidant. There's a lot of anti-anti-anti this. Um, Go on with your bad self, Goose. Um, so, let's talk a little bit about the body systems. The very first one is cardiovascular. Um, this oil definitely will warm. Like if you, you know how I was talking about with oregano, when we dilute the oregano and put it on the bottom of our feet, feet, it definitely warms up my feet. Like I, I will intentionally, because I have really bad circulation in my feet, I'll intentionally put a lot more oregano than I will um, lotion or oil when I'm diluting it because I like to have... Um, I like to have my feet warm when I'm going out. Now, I'm not burning my feet, but I definitely warm them up a little bit. Who's that? Uh, somebody from work. I'm not answering that. That's crazy. Let it snow. Robin, do you have an opinion on the brand? Ara Kush. Well, yeah, I've never heard of it, so no, I don't have an opinion on it. Um, can I get the black pepper oil? Yes, you can. You most definitely can. And it um, would be great if you ordered it from us. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. So, cardiovascular-wise, it definitely will warm you up, and it does tone blood vessels. Um, it works to decongest the circulatory and the lymphatic system. Um, helps with poor circulation, like I said. Um, I definitely... Yes, Amanda... Uh, not at the numbness necessarily, but it will help with the blood circulation. See, that's the thing is like the, the numbness and stuff kind of comes from not having that blood circulating. And there are a lot of oils that will promote 
um, that good blood circulation. So if you want to know about those, just, just hit me up, Amanda. You know how to get a hold of me. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, also, it does help to lower cholesterol. Um, it reduces high triglycerides. Um, and it can help to normalize blood pressure. So, um, what's wrong with Suburban? I don't know. She says she has to rewatch. She's having a rough day. Um, okay. Suburban, I love you. Yeah, we love you, Becca. Um, okay. I love you so much. I screwed this down so that way I can stop myself from picking on you. <laughs> okay, now, as far as the digestive system goes, um, this helps with colic, constipation, um, diarrhea, flatulence, gassiness, bloating, heartburn, indigestion, nausea, vomiting, and food poisoning. That's a lot. So this is definitely, definitely one that um, you can use for digestive support. Um, it's a good one to have in the cabinet, not just for cooking. And that's one thing I'll tell you guys. The, this the, the bottle of black pepper that you can buy, at least with the company I'm with, is, is small. It's a, it's a liter bottle. And it is expensive, like everybody... Well, okay, it's not expensive. It would be expensive if you were trying to buy it in a 15 milliliter container. Okay, which we normally is what we buy. But these are in 5 milliliter bottles. And so, of course... If you multiply that out, it would be way more expensive. Um, but the point to all of that is that this five milliliter bottle lasts forever. My last bottle I sent, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we're offline. No, we're not. Uh, yeah. We can't even pull up the test. Hmm. Here we go again. Thank you, Elberton Net. This text is replaced by a flash movie. Isn't that wonderful? I'm buffering bad. Isn't that wonderful? Hmm. Stop typing so loudly, Jason. <laughs> uh, no, you don't use a link. We're buffering bad. All these storms, they may have decided to... No, they changed out the, the thing for that. See how it says it was replaced by the Flash movie? I don't know how they're doing that. That, ca that came up... I know. The, the other day, and I just backed out and... Came okay, back in. they there see we go. in here is fine. Here we go. There may just be from all the different storms that we had. We had a tornado touchdown mm -hmm. um, about. Well, last week. Last week, about five minutes up the road. Mm -hmm. It was not far from us. And so they've been doing a lot of power work and a lot of. Uh, Locating where it. Yeah. Where oh. it's. So, and stuff. Okay, so uh, we were at constipation, diarrhea, all, cha, cha, cha. <laughs> all of that Pepto Bismol commercial. <laughs> um, but it a lot of different stuff, digestive support. Um, but what I was saying is, is that this little bitty bottle, you can stretch that little bitty bottle out for like a year. Because when you're using it to cook, mm -hmm. you literally just barely get the the tip of your toothpick wet and stir it around um no we don't make our own oils we purchase them through a company that's a reputable company that has really good pure um oils and and let me jump in here for a second miss anita rogers i wouldn't to be honest with you it is so labor intensive and time consuming mm -hmm. 
to be able to make your own oils from some of these herbs and stuff mm -hmm. that I don't know anybody that it, that that can do it. Um, it takes so much to make such a small quantity. Right. You would have to have, just to be able to make the small sample bottles that Robin gives out, mm -hmm. uh, if you were going to do basil, you would probably need almost 20 or 30 acres of <laughs> basil just to be able to make that oil. And trust me when I tell you this, because we know it's the gospel. Nobody else that's talking about oils on YouTube is making their own oils. No, they're buying them from companies. Yeah. And then, yeah. So, okay, so there was somebody who asked about using it in a capsule. Um, would it be better to put pepper oil into a capsule without other oil, with other oils to take internally? Yes, you can. Um, better, eh. um, but you know, uh, am I, I'm in love with grapefruit oil in my water. Me too. I absolutely love grapefruit oil. Um, I also love taking grapefruit and cassia and putting them, any citrus with cassia mm -hmm. is really good in water. Um, but let's see. <laughs> There, I'll do a full metal jacket. <laughs> Teresa totally just took him. <sighs> That's funny. Uh, anyway, okay. For so, a second there, I was back in Thailand. Let's talk about, mm. yes, you would need a still. But the problem is it's not just the still. You would need a press but, but you, for some of them. You have to understand the process here, guys. You're taking mounds and mounds of stuff and concentrating it to the point where all you're getting is the oil that comes out of that leaf or out of that tree or the flower or mm -hmm. whatever it is a massive amount yeah. to produce you know you would need acres upon acres yeah, upon it, acres it's not it's it's not practical to it's not cost effective let's put it that well, look, way we talked about this in school a little bit because my my one of my professors was just crazy interested in mm -hmm. it and um we we got to talking about it but when we come to find out that it's just if that's not going to be your sole income and here's the thing you pretty much have to have have to be the farmer growing all this stuff and then selling that to the person that's going to make the oil because you ain't got time to do both no and then the other thing too is you wouldn't be able to do all of them mm -mm. you would have to be a monoculture yeah you would have to yeah exactly y you would and all of you i keep seeing people asking about cassia cassia is fantastic it tastes like a red hot like a atomic fireball Mm -hmm. really good um okay so anyway let's go back to the endocrine system that's where we were at um this is good for adrenal fatigue um it's good for th thyroid problems hypothyroid problems um cold intolerance um it's also good for normalizing blood sugar um i just saw Teresa said um she loves cinnamon oil, dipping toothpicks in it, and... You're, you're going to have to focus on your class because you're not going to be able to get through I it. can see the other things. I'm not worried about those. Um, but that segues me into um, what Homestead you can... Homestead Dad, I just noticed that he was here. When you What you can do with this one to help with um, smoking, you can actually take a toothpick and put it in the black peppermint or black pepper oil and chew on that and that'll wasn't his kids chicken and bunny i don't remember froggy Frog, Frog, froggy 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 and chicken or froggy and bunny chicken was one of them and froggy i think how much did you say this was um i don't honestly remember guys i'm not sure i'd have to look it up well send um, us an email yeah okay um i'm thinking in the 20 dollar ish range i might be wrong but i'm thinking somewhere in that range um yeah, 
friend grows mint on acres for oil producing exactly it's i mean it is a labor intensive process and you can't do it all you cannot be the person that farms it to the person that distills it to the person that bottles it to the person that sends it out it's just mm -hmm. not you ain't gonna do it it's very difficult and not and let me let me say it like this you're not going to be able to do it and put out a quality product just for your info, first use of black market. 1930s, according to dictionaries. Cool. Um, okay. Um, I'm trying to make it, so that helps a lot. Thank you. Okay, so what you can do is you can put it in like an olive oil or something like that, but the problem with that is that it's not going to be a pure yeah. oil because you're going to have the dilution in there. Um, okay, so let's get back to this. Immune system. Um, this uh, oil is has antibacterial properties. Um, it supports digestion and it boosts your immunity levels. So this is a good one to also have around for when people get sick. Mm -hmm. um, you can use it for chills, for the cold, flu, um, fever, infections, viruses. Um, it also is an antioxidant, so it helps free radicals, you know, get those out of your bloodstream. Um, it also, I found a couple of studies where they're finding that it has the potential to suppress human cancer cell growth. So that I thought was pretty pretty we, neat we need to get some more black pepper oil. well i we're i mean again i thought i had a whole nother bottle of it and i don't know where it is i'm really not sure um okay limbic system so this is where we talk about smoking um this oil is actually pretty good for nicotine addiction tobacco smoking even um uh dipping um Anything having to do with that, it's also good for anybody with obsessive compulsive issues. Um, Suburban. What? Didn't she Suburban. say she had OCD? Oh, she does, but she doesn't need this. Oh, I like okay. her just the way she is. Okay, so now another thing this is really good for because we're talking about the warming properties and also the antispasmodic properties, um, this is really another really good one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Aveline. Yeah, this is all black pepper I'm talking about. Um, so, the, <laughs> <laughs> what? Mama Cat said that that jug that mug that is mug as big, big as, as your head. head. You make tea in a five gallon bucket. Mm -hmm. Oh, dedicated smoker. Yeah. Um, can you use it like capsaicin? Yes, but not to be mistaken for capsaicin. This is the cool part about this. People who are allergic to capsaicin can use black pepper the same way as capsaicin but will more than likely not have the allergies affiliated with capsaicin boop, boop. so that's really cool is that's one of those where it can give you the alternative to be able to use something different but still have the same properties so i thought that was pretty cool boop, boop. Um, that's so cool i want to put my speedo on and dance <laughs> let's not do that right now Okay, so as far as your muscular system, it is anti-inflammatory and it has analgesic properties. So it helps with cramping, fatigue, um, spasms, sprains, arthritic pain, joint issues, anything like that. Um, this oil is going to help. And basically what you would do, and this is, again, not because just because it may cause skin sensitivity. But when you have an oil like this, you want to spread it out. So when you dilute it, you're allowing that oil to spread out more into your joints and move around a lot more instead of just in one highly concentrated area. Yes, Green Gables, we're talking about black pepper. Okay. Nervous system. This helps with nerve problems, clouded vision, anybody with dropsies, um, dizziness, lack of nerve tone, anything like that. Um, Time out. Dropsies? Yeah, like when you it, when you have nerve issues and you drop stuff. Like, okay, um, people with uh, carpal tunnel, and they or people that can't do this. Yeah, well, that's well, but you physically cannot drop that there. Most people, like with carpal tunnel, they start to wear. Okay, it so it's literally called dropsies. Uh huh. That sounds like a Ladessa word. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, excuse me, I achewed. 
<laughs> God, it was so funny. So that's why that's why I call timeout. Uh huh. Um. Okay. Let's see what I got going on here. Um. All right, respiratory system. This is another really good property for um, respiratory. <laughs> Um, this helps to clear mucus. It helps with watery and teary eyes from allergies and from colds. Bass! Long butter. Yes, from <laughs> lung butter. Um, general respiratory infections, lung infections, emphysema. I don't even know how to say that name. What, Florida? Florida. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Florida Homestead, how's it going, sir? Welcome um, to the show. Yeah, dropsy. It is a thing. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, Ladessa used to say I chewed instead yeah. of sneeze. That's what she calls it. She says, I'm sorry. I'm like, what are you sorry for, baby? Oh, I chewed. You what? Oh. Okay, um, now, yeah, urinary, the last system is a urinary um, system. This works as a diuretic. It um, helps to detox the body. It'll actually... Um, help you to sweat so that you can clean out your system <laughs> to be able to make you sweat get rid of all of the nastiness in your body how'd that song go by cnc music factory let the music take control, control. let the rhythm move, move your soul. all right so um also sweat. this can help with <laughs> it can also help with um bedwetting um, lead poisoning. That's something that you need, Palmetto. It could stop stop you from wetting the bed. <laughs> and I don't know how you army guys are. And that is, it, as they say, is actually the other thing that it will help with um, is uh, uh, anxiety. So that's another thing to. Um, okay, y'all. We got we got a little bit more than 10 minutes so let's open it up it helps the pee box for questions this is the time y'all been waiting for my youngest said he had the nickups said the hiccups that's cute nice nerve problems all right you got a question. Now's the time. Ask away. Ask away. Ask your question. And while we're waiting on the first question, I want to tell you guys, right after us, we've teamed up with God, The Weekend Almighty. Homestead. <laughs> and he is going to be coming on right you after that so us. I can look up the price of this real quick. And you what? Um, DJ Big Bear in the house. Who's that? Tim Beasley. Don't know who that is. Um, An underwear instead of underwear. Is there an oil for someone who is flat <laughs> out crazy? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Palmetto going to talk about moms. Let's get off moms, Palmetto, because I just got a I few I your moms. <laughs> Jason. He started. I don't care. What's the contest end date of the bull name? We got it. We're going to gather up all of the names that's been um, donated. We're going to go through them. We're going to pick like 10 and then we're going to do a video about it um, on like Saturday or Sunday. Mm hmm. Mm. Can you mix it with cassia to make a balm for painful muscles? Yeah, I'm sure you could. But I would definitely, um, <laughs> I would definitely <laughs> dilute it pretty heavily because both of those are warming, um, warming oils. So you don't want to put yourself on fire. Is pepper oil expensive? I'm about to find out right now, guys, because I mm. had several Lead people poisoning, ask. that explains it. That's... Why Florida. Is Florida and oh, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. So me and him have, and look, y'all. I've been starting to get to know that guy, 
And um, the weekend home center. Yes, and he's cool. Mm -hmm. Um, he's really down to earth, really nice guy. So y'all go on over there tonight when we get off of here, and go see him and tell him that the big bear sent you. What does the renter receive? We have it. Well, it was going to be a t-shirt, Susan, but our t-shirt lady went out of business. We hadn't figured out what we're going to do about it. So we're, right now, we're still scrambling mm. around, and reminds me, um, Goose, tomorrow I need to talk to you about that. Um, Black pepper is almost $30. So, but again, if you use it sparingly yes you can still get in the contest go to the vlog where we're talking about where it shows the bull and put your name up put there put your name up there yeah mama do you need me to call you after this i'll tell you right now the best name so far in my opinion, has been given by Bumblebee Junction. I'm just saying. So I'm not going to say what the name is until Saturday, but that That's one had as... me rolling. Yeah, you guys yes. can still send in a... Seriously? Why? You know what, Daniel, <laughs> after this, I'm Skyping you, and me and you are going to have a come, you know what the worst come to is? Jesus He's meeting. He's probably been sitting there the whole time, and he does this every week. We've been to have a every come to show, Jesus meeting, He Daniel. comes in like 10 minutes before and says, hey, guys. I am Skyping you right after this, and me and you going to talk it out. I'll take oils instead of t-shirts. I bet you would. All right, I'll see what I can figure out. Thank <laughs> you. So, no questions about oils? I mean, y'all rocked the house last week. But, okay, back to the one question that we had um, earlier. People asked me if I was um, still trying to lose my weight and if I was still using Slim and Sassy. And the answer is yes. It's almost time to order another bottle. <laughs> yes. And it's, I will have a, um, for next week, I will have a weigh-in result for you. Because next week's. Oh, you better just leave now, Daniel. <laughs> what? He caught two swarms today. Mm-hmm. Mm. Sure he did. Please answer my question. I asked it three times. What's your what question? What question? I haven't seen it. No. Type it out again. Let I'm it sure snow. we're celebrating. Pa oh, that's true. It was a five milliliter bottle, Green Gables. You're about 52, 52 minutes, minutes late. late. Bless your black heart. <laughs> Bless mm. the Brooke. Bless you. So what's the oil for crazy because I'm about to need it. You already got some of them, Suburban. I do it too. Big. Yeah, see, I'm telling y'all do that. Y'all sit there. Y'all sit there and just sit in the background and then five minutes before it's time mm -hmm. for us to go, you would be like, oh, hi hey guys. And you've been there the whole time. Nope. No, lost dude. I'm not doing the 22 for 22 yet. Don't Again, um, I just got tagged by one of the simply seven um, kids, so I gotta go find that video, watch it, and then then get done. Does it come in a five gallon bucket? No. Hmm. Did my freebie get mailed like? out? No, not yet. We've had a very mm -hmm. crazy couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. That's my next oil. <laughs> Yeah. Uh. So, and let me tell you, um, I am using it in water, B lady. I take five drops and I put it in a normal glass of water, and uh, and I drink it. I'll eat a regular breakfast, and then we'll take like a water break, like an hour or two hours before lunch. <laughs> Whammo. It was black pepper. And um, I'll drink a regular eight ounce glass. Now, remember, with these oils, 
It's got to be a glass. Glass or stainless steel. You can't have Don't it in use it plastic in styrofoam or, or plastic. styrofoam because it will eat through. It literally will eat a styrofoam cup. Literally. I watched it. <laughs> it happens. Mm, yep. I um, watched it. And then I'll eat my lunch. And then I'll have an, any, basically when I start to feel myself get hungry, I'll drink another eight ounce glass of water with the five things of Slim and Sassy in it. But I stop, um, <laughs> after, well, after I eat dinner, I don't take any more Slim and Sassy. Mm -hmm. And here's why. That stuff gets me going. It, it, cause it helps kickstart your metabolism and it gives you a bunch of, but it's a stimulant. Yeah. An it, energy. Yeah. And if I take a glass after uh dinner i'm up most of the night mm -hmm. so that's Was why I just mentioned and and i'll tell you guys this there is um and i'm probably going to start taking that again after my weigh-in next week but we still have the shakes mm -hmm. and stuff that i'm going to start probably taking for breakfast and doing it that way yeah Anywhere from um, 10 to 15 drops a day. It depends on... Now, the other thing that he does that he's not telling you that um, he does, that he doesn't realize contributes a lot, is he uses lemon oil with just about every single glass of tea that oh, yeah. he drinks. And lemon is a diuretic. Makes you pee. And it makes you pee like crazy. Mm -hmm. So it's flushing out stuff as well. Yeah. So, you know, that's the the thing. I meant not sample size. I, that's the first time I've seen a comment come through from Let, let, let It, it snow. snow. Yeah. Her comments are not coming through very well. That's so, weird. Let it snow. Please just like send us an email. Just like Kitty. I haven't seen Kitty all night, and I hope. I hope our so-called rock star troll is not in here playing and kicking people out. And they don't call them the shakes anymore, Jason. It's called withdrawals. <laughs> and and stopping people's stuff from coming through because kind of has a program for that. Um, we can um, come sit around with her. um, let's see. Somebody asked, how much is the slim and sassy? It's like before tax and shipping and stuff it's like 30 32 dollars something like that um but that is one of those that works it it definitely works really well it, mm. it helps you and it, it the other thing too is that it um curbs your appetite it helps to to kind of get you through to the next meal yeah. too um grapefruit does it too well yes. grapefruit is in the slim and sassy Mm -hmm. Um, maybe if comment is long, that could be it. I mean, that, it's be. gotta be 200 characters. Let's see. I mean, some people, I mean, look at what Amanda's garden's putting up. So, yeah. and what it'll do is it won't kick it all the way out. It just cuts it off at the 200. I'm a troll spy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I know. We know. I know. <laughs> I know. Don't think, don't think that I don't feel it in my back. <laughs> Um, uh, how long does it last? Are you talking about the Slim and Sassy? Because that, that's something that, you know, has to be... Let us know. Send us your question via email, please. Yeah, she has my email. Because I want to... It seems like we weren't getting all of her yeah. stuff. I don't I know. mean, I barely saw any of her comments. You yeah. know what? And that's the same thing happened to me. In, in another person's in two family homesteads yeah, homestead. um thing so all right it is 8 58 um tim beasley yes please go to what well, just big e bear us. farms oils at hotmail.com amanda's garden can you put that up please that's big it's bear right farms there. oils and we can get we can get you uh hooked up but right now, we are getting ready. I want you guys to go over to the Weekend Homestead. Um, he's coming on after us. He's mm -hmm. going to reveal about what this hole is he found in his property. And um, Yeah, that's right, Mama Cat. So that's going to be really, really cool. Mm-hmm. 
That's another thing. If you comment too often, it won't. It'll tell you to slow down too. Yeah. So. Um, so. Don't forget. Go over to the weekend homestead, and um. Don't forget about my gardening show on Wednesday, 5:30 p.m. Eastern Time. And don't forget to check out the Big Bear Homestead group on Facebook, the Big Bear Homestead friend request page, and the regular business page on Facebook. Um, especially the Big Bear Homestead group. There is a lot of great channels in there, and mm -hmm. it's a shit. Basically, we made that group to share, and so there's a lot of great channels in there sharing some of their videos. So by all means, go in there and check it out. Mm -hmm. um, you guys are going to get a hold of a lot of some great content. All right. All right. Well, thank you guys. Head on over to the Weekend Homestead. Donna, tell, I'll send you an email. Tell them Big Bear Homestead sent you. Thanks for coming by. We appreciate. And <laughs> have a nice day. Have a nice day.